Alaya, younger sister to Oberon, now betrothed to Jaden. Despite the wars that rage, she travels to Rundal for her wedding procession. But it is Goga that awaits her. Alaya persuades the Shinobi to ally with her and together they head for Rundal. Her plan, to use the Shinobi from Goga to assassinate Jaden. Meanwhile, in a distant, frozen land, Mont regroups with Engelbert and the others who await his arrival. By his side stands Mashiri and Glacella. With battles soon to come, the forces on both sides grow closer in might. Wait, where is it you go? Oh, my apologies. It seems I've woken you. Pay me no heed. I was simply thinking of getting some fresh air. Do not play the fool. Horn and Lizette. Is war truly brewing between them? It's not hard to imagine Cory would see an alliance between Leonis and Horn as quite the betrayal. What? Need I remind you who it was that put Leonis and the Sanctum on the scales to measure their own miserable gain? You're lucky this is a dungeon. If those words were to reach Cory's ears... I suppose he would never admit his own wrongdoings. He brands those who defy him as traitors and executes them for their crimes. That is the way of things here. You could even say it is the very history of Wazette. <clears throat> Perhaps I should tell you of the world beyond your cell. Moraga is no more, and Fenis stands divided. Divided? Have they taken new sides? Oldoa has hailed to Leonis, but that matters not. The bigger issue is likely the fact Wazette has opened its gates to Melnia and Renel. I cannot say I know these names. Oh, you're unfamiliar with them. Quite the vexing pair, I assure you. Life in Saiga didn't work out for Melnia, so she followed her desires beyond the village. Surely there would be not for the alliance of Horn and Leonis to fear. Outsiders such as yourself know nothing of what Kuri has up his sleeve. A last resort, I assume. Indeed. Whatever it is, he rushes to have it prepared. I was expecting him to save it for Rundal, mind you. But the prideful Kuri has deemed the united armies of Horn and Leonis to be a threat. Which can only mean that the young lion you put your life on the line to help escape is made of the right metal. Alas for me, time is now of the essence. Do you mean to say, you will aid us? Sadly, I don't think I will be taking sides in this affair. Then your goal is Kuri, and nothing else. Even if Horn and Leonis must be a pawn to that end. Exactly. What is it that drives you so? Kuri murdered my father. <gasps> He was once a strategist under Kuri. At the time, Kuri had sired children to women other than his queen, and the resulting conflict over royal succession left Wazette in a state of chaos. Fearing for the future of the nation, my father offered his advice. He suggested announcing to the people that Glacella, the most skilled of his children in warfare, was to be his successor. 
Not only did Kuri have no mind to listen, he raged at the notion of having his methods questioned and executed my father for what he deemed treason. Unfathomable. That is life under Kuri. And what became of the royal succession? Kuri pit his heirs against each other. He declared that it would be the survivor who succeeds him. And that survivor was Glacella. Correct. The very same Glacella my father advised in favor of. To what end was my father killed? Uh. Overcome with grief, I suppose, my mother voiced her discontent to Kuri. I tried to stop her, alas. Your mother met the same end. Not only her, but my older sister as well. But you were spared that fate. You do not possibly think that Kuri's wretched heart knows mercy, do you? Do you know the reason I lived? No. I licked his boots. No. I performed even more unsavory acts than that. Not only for myself, but for my younger sister as well. So that is your story. Once Kuri had been defeated, I intended to see my childhood friend Glacella take the throne and give my support as her strategist. I dreamed of this with my younger sister by my side, however. In order to realize your revenge now, you... I no longer feel even a slither of hope for the future of Wazette. Nor do I longer care for the happiness of its people. At least, that was my sentiment up until a time most recent. I cannot risk freeing you from your imprisonment at this time. I wish you well, Lord Schutzelt. Wait! You cannot mean to! Are you sure that's for the best? What do you mean? Lady Ma Cherie and Lady Glacella. <laughs> Are you alright, Ma Cherie? Is it the bite of the cold you feel? <laughs> you are quite the worrier, aren't you, Glacella? I, I simply... Thank you, but you need not worry for me. I'm merely nervous, in the most uncharacteristic of ways. What with the great battle that lies ahead. Very well. There is nothing wrong with such nerves. They seem to be getting along well enough. I know not of what happened between them, mind you. They are for now, at least. For now, you say? Sooner or later, the time will come when you must make a choice. And trust me when I say this, it will come. <laughs> you are the king of Leonis. It falls upon you to preserve the nation, and that responsibility takes priority above all things. You speak true. Glacella, that ring. Oh, Mont gave me this. We were little at the time. It is just a childish trinket. <sighs> he said it was for protection. Protection? I suppose he thought I needed it, as I was already caught up in the conflicts over the royal succession. I see. <laughs> you are going to have your hands full, I'd say. I cannot help but think you're enjoying this. King Mont. Well met, Adelard. Wizard Castle is known for its indomitable defenses. I would ask your thoughts on how we best bring the beast down. Well, well. It's nice to hear you speaking like an ally. 
Let us just say I am more than aware of how much trouble our commanding shield causes. I wonder if an elaborate strategy is really what we need. And by that you mean... The army of Horn surely has its own ways of war. Which makes me think that instead of bending your methods, we should simply work to complement them. That would put my mind at ease. Truth be told, I came here intent to suggest that very notion. Is that so? Solidus has completed its preparations for battle. That Engelbert is thorough in his diligence, even when he runs off to do things his own way. Everything he does is for the sake of Schitzelt. Yes, you needn't say it. Then, if you'll excuse me. King Mont. Leonis stands ready to march at any time. Well then, let us waste no more time. Leonis has itself quite the prince. Carry yourself well. Got an eye for these things, huh? But of course. Then don't forget he is no prince. He's our king. Uh, poor form on my behalf. My humble apologies. I have heard of your exploits. I believe you hailed from Ligros? Yes, your highness. We haven't yet introduced ourselves. I am Lizette. Not gonna bother with your commanding officer, huh? You moved up in the world. We are no longer in the service of Likeros, so you are no longer my superior. I trust you require no further clarity on the matter? We took to the road in search of a new kingdom to serve under, following the fall of Likeros. And that's when you chanced upon Mosheri. Unfortunate twist of fate for us. I believe that sooner or later we will find ourselves facing Rundal on the battlefield. Having you and your experience with fighting their forces on our side is heartening to say the least. We did not win, mind you. Fool! They don't need to hear that! Oh, but it is the truth! Didn't I teach you not to say anything that could sell yourself short? Did you? I barely recall. <laughs> what in all the hells? A bombardment from Styria. The enemy moves to place itself beyond our range of fire. Let them scuttle as they please. Have you forgotten what we carry aboard this ship? One does not simply forget such a thing. Lackwit. It is the only cannon in all the lands with a magically powered range enhancer. Then why did you call off the artillery? Because one's master stroke should always be saved for the end. That is why. I wonder if that is truly so. I would wager that you mean to throw the first division, Aikido, against the united armies of Horn and Leonis. A keen wager indeed. You are correct. I merely wanted to provide Aikido with a chance to shine as their efforts have been rather dull. Oh, speaking of such, that Surges of yours is the division's captain, isn't he? <laughs> what a twist of fate! How do you know that? Surely the answer is an obvious one. He is the esteemed captain of the venerable First Division, Akito. I found myself compelled to acquaint myself with him, so I took the liberty of doing some research. Do you truly hate, no, loathe Surges 
To such a degree? Not just Serges. Victora, Luartha, not to mention Melnia and Renée. Barely an accolade to their collective names. Yet they prance around Wazette Castle as if its walls were built just for them. I find it quite insufferable, if you must know. So you wish to drag them down? See them meet with failure? What an unflattering choice of words. I am merely trying to display the truth to King Kuri. I wish for him to see just how incompetent and undeserving those miscreants are. It is Styrie under my command that befits the honor of being the First Division. Yes, indeed. It can be none other than us. I will do anything to see this happen. Anything to claim the trust and confidence of King Kuri. <laughs> then it will be I who stands at King Kuri's side. <laughs> oh, the pleasure of the very thought of it. <laughs> King Mont, what's the plan? This isn't going to end well for us. We are quite far from their ship. We may be able to move beyond their range if we distance ourselves a little farther. Agreed. Let us do that. We shall place our troops out of artillery range for now. Well, well. It seems I've been tailed. You know what you're doing. I am not like those dim-witted soldiers. That must make you Renel, then. I heard that someone stole a corpse from the castle. I assume it was you. And if that happens to be the case? That grave? Minwu isn't in there anymore. You dug her up? You too shall be food for my monsters. Two, you say? So that's how it is. I think I will now have to start by eliminating you first. You will achieve nothing on your own. Is that all you have? You shall just have to wait and see. You feign bravery. Do I? It seems to me that it is you who does that, no? What do you mean? I mean that you are just a feeble runt, howling as fiercely as you can when your master is nowhere to be seen. Did I touch upon a nerve? <laughs> it would seem that my words ring true. You will die for that. <laughs> the castle bell. I imagine that means your enemies have begun their march. Should you still be standing here? 
Won't your master be angry if you do not scamper back soon? <laughs> I will return to claim your bones. So that was Renell. She seems to fancy herself a strategist, but she is far from it. I went to all that effort to feign the limits of my constitution to disarm her. But it would seem that it is no longer even needed. Return to claim my bones, was it? <laughs> to think she actually believes a few wolves would be enough to deal with me. Now then, I shall wrap this up and get to taking care of some pending business. Feast your eyes upon the great old Doa! More of them? Monty? Hold on! You were so strong just now. A lesser lady could almost fall in love. That was reckless. What were you thinking, throwing yourself into the middle of so many enemies? Oh dear. You saw that little display? I know not how you feel, but I for one think of you as one of us. So, try not to be so reckless with your life. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. It just hit me. It did? Alas, I have made an unbending vow of purity to his fierceness. I apologize from the depths of my heartiest of hearts, but your desires are not for me to fulfill. Odoa. Is something the matter? I think you've misunderstood me. I just... Worry not, worry not. All the men say the same thing. Don't be going red, it's fine. Uh... Fear not. I respect my body, if nothing else. I will destroy Melnia. And that is something I'll be sharing with none. I do not doubt you. That's more like it. <laughs> hey! You said we were excusing ourselves from the front lines to analyze the enemy forces, did you not? Yet the first thing you do is rest your bones. Spare me your harping. This business takes a toll when you get older. Unbelievable. So? So what? What do you make of the war effort? Hmm, let's see. I was led to believe this united army was put together in haste, but it is far more functional than I had expected. Horn's first division, Solidus, lives up to its reputation. They make for a sound foundation. And then there are the individual units that fill the flanks. I had thought Leonis may lack in terms of military might, but they measure up quite well. So? So, what? Which side is going to come out on top? Do not tell me that after coming all this way, you're thinking of switching to the side with a greater advantage! Are you happy to just march to your death then? Uh, of course I am not! There are all manner of things I still wish to do with my life. So? Mm. It does not sit well with me to admit this, however. I knew it. It was the same for the King of Lycoros. When they were cooking up plans for their eastbound invasion, he said Wazette would be the most troublesome of their foes. From what I have heard, it seems King Jaden of Rundal echoes that sentiment. 
That sounds about right. Hmm. I wonder why everyone holds with Zet in such a regard. I've heard a thing or two about this, actually. Word has it that Wazette is secretly trying to revive some kind of once lost ancient magic. An ancient magic? One that can blow foes away with a simple incantation or the like? Who knows? In any case, that's what the King of Lycoros was wary of. It would certainly make sense, mind you. I was not confident enough to say it at the time, but I sensed an unsettling degree of poise in Wazette. They've probably got something diabolical up their sleeve. So? So what? Have you arrived at a conclusion? Well, we have found ourselves a place to serve. And Lady Machery seems to have her wits about her. And more than anything, she's genuine of heart. So to just up and leave simply because we might be at a disadvantage of sorts, it wouldn't feel right. So we are staying? We are. Good. In that case, I have nothing to add. What would you have done if I'd said I wanted to side with Wazette? I would have punched you in the face and added a run-up too, for good measure. I'm glad you didn't. Well then, why don't we return to the main force? Yes, let us do just that. I should thank you before we march. For what? I shall not utter the words again. We will save Shitzelt. I know. These gates will do naught but crumble under our advance. We now commence the main assault! Charge! My army is being pressed, you say? Yes, Your Highness. The allied armies of the enemy are already at our gates. <laughs> Hasten the activation process. Yes, Your Highness. And tell Akito to deploy at once. They are not a force that commands any ability to sway this battle. What? No, Severo. But... You dare insult my first division? It truly makes me question why you bothered to keep that prisoner. Prisoner? You speak of Shitzelt. We would never stoop to such methods. Severo, this isn't the time. Know your place, wretch. Yes, Shitzel could be of some use. According to our information, he shares a bond with the commander of Solidus. I see. You suggest we make bait of Shitzel to bring down the mighty Solidus. I have a better suggestion. Speak. We take the ancient ring from Leonis. You can achieve this? Without failure. So, Alea is back safe and sound? Uh, uh, your Highness. Alea, there you are. I'm glad you're in one piece. I was starting to miss you. But who might these ladies be? Nivlu, Mia, and Ravelka. They are my personal guards. Do you have a problem with that? N not at all. I am weary from the long journey. <laughs> She's as cold as ever. But that's what I like about her. What is it? 
Reporting, Your Highness. There is someone who seeks an audience. There is... You... My name is Ramada. 